I'll tell you this, once I got the fire and now it's in the stock, <laughs> two damn thumbs up, baby. So we came down to do some shooting with the new Fulton Armory M14. And wouldn't you know it, I left a damn target stand at the house. It's thundering off in the distance. And damn it, that sucks. Because I need to zero it before I go do any shooting with the uh, exploding bottles. And I'm going right over there to shoot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm um, going to narrate over this because I'm sitting here yakking my freaking head off. And um, these will be the first shots, attempted first shots with this new Fulton Armory M14. The uh, trigger group was purchased uh, about two weeks, maybe a, a little longer, uh, maybe three or four weeks before I actually ordered the barreled action. The barreled action, uh, uh, once I ordered it, it took four weeks, as per what they say the uh, lead times are um, on their website, for it to be made, and then it took two days to ship and send to me. Um, the ammunition I'm using is Winchester 7.62 uh, M80. It was manufactured... Uh, at the Lake City U.S. Army Ammunition Plant in 2021. It is 149 grain, not 147. I'm always saying 147 for some damn reason. But it's 150 grain, or excuse me, 149 grain full metal jacket ball ammo. Basically machine gun quality. Um, I was just wanting to use it to sight the rifle in. In my Winchester um, public service announcement video, I mean, I'd only had two duds with it, and it was that ammo. And later in the video, I run some federal through it. You'll note that I'm trying to use the GI web sling sort of like a shooting sling. This is not correct, but it's the best I can do with what I have. I want eventually to get a leather M1907 uh, rifle sling that is designed for this type of shooting and uh, the accuracy, I mean the, the ability to stabilize a rifle in the prone or in the sitting or in the kneeling position with the sling is much, much enhanced by that type of sling. It's not practical, I guess, in a fast-moving combat scenario. The GI web sling would be much better for that in some ways, but uh, with a conventional stock, that is. And I said a wordy dared when the rifle went click, and I shouldn't have uh, allowed that on the video on the public service announcement, but it did. It ticked me off severely. And... Um, so I was just wanting to, it already ruined it, click. Now I'm like, what in the heck? Checking the rifle over, going to eject that brass and see it had a slight dimple. And that right there should have been an indication it was a light primer strike and the hammer didn't hit it hard enough or something of that nature. But it didn't click in my head. All right, I'm gonna try an experiment without the damn stock trigger in it I just hope it don't damn okay so I'm thinking I think I already had two uh, misfires and I'm thinking the only variable here has got to be the damn stock so maybe a true mill spec as close as you can make it without it being an actual military M14 the only damn variable here is the friggin stock so I'm going to try to fire that same ammo. I've already tried it, I guess, off camera because I don't have it or something. I don't know. Here, out of the darn stock. Now, this is the, the dud round. 
and it goes click. And you say I jerked the shit out, scared to death this thing's going to hurt me. The glove on my hand is to prevent any gas from burning snot out of it. Because I wasn't going to go for it. I mean, I'm just go blast it away. Um, just wanted to try it one round. And, of course, I removed the magazine, eject the cartridge to see what the deal is. Well, maybe I... Maybe I didn't have a lot round in it. And I said, damn, shook up by it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I tried again. Same freaking result. Click. You know, when you are expecting a bang and you really, especially something, your life depends on it. And it goes damn click. That is a terrifying damn sound. In this particular case, it is a absolutely frustrating sound because you're thinking, is it the rifle? Is it the ammunition? What is the deal? And, um, you know, that time I definitely had one in there. But yeah, this, this was a jinxed freaking weekend. I did not know it at the time, but the owner of the property and the home that I live in and I rent now was got sick, very, very sick. He'd been sick the previous week and they didn't know what was wrong, but he had been admitted to the hospital that day. It says F C on it instead of L C. But it is 76251. It says 2015. Rods all the way forward. just fine with that so the first shot was out of the damn stock away from my head don't want to blow my damn head off not 2015 2019 it's a couple years old but anyway if you saw that movie the uh, the gray, you now know that if you bust that stock, you can still kill you some sons of bitches with four legs and some big old teeth. Put the big bad wolf's ass on the dirt. I'll take that stuff. You know, that's new stuff too. This is one of the new magazines, and I loaded it right out of the damn box. There's two of them that didn't fire. That's one of my gloves from work. Can't always blame it on the rifle. Sometimes it is the ammo. Thank God I decided to try out the other magazine I brought. safe that'll be suspect right there must be some hard ass damn primers okay so like I said this is not the ideal sling but I want you to note where my head is at specifically my jaw look at the gap between where my cheekbone should be in the stock now, I've been shooting a rifle for a lot of years, and I never noticed that. I didn't even think about it. I got my jaw up there on the freaking stock. I'm thinking, okay, this is this is right as rain. It is not. You want the proper cheek weld. And the way this rifle is designed and the way my head is, my face, I could not get right in on the back, the rear side. 
So I laid my cheek all the way down on it. I was looking at the, the heel of the receiver, not through the rear side. And, and so on my third outing, um, which you'll see later, uh, not in this video, but you'll see later, I have added a Fulton Armory um, adjustable cheek rest to that stock. I'll tell you this, once I got the firing and now it's in the stock, <laughs> two damn thumbs up, baby. So the, uh, you can see I got some side to side wobbling going on. You see the one at the very bottom of the page? It, that's, it had to have been the one where I fired it just with my, you know, out of the stock and it fired. Um, but no, I didn't pre adjust the rear side. You bottom it out, bring it up 12 clicks, and you go from there. And that's where you, you start your zero in process. And I didn't do it. Shame on me. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that sight, the rear sight. It says 8 to 12. And I'm about three inches low from dead center. I only have one center shot and then I have one left of it, one right of it, about an inch. So we're gonna raise that sucker because I got it bottomed. Well I thought it oh that is okay I got it bottomed out. This That's 12 clicks up, and uh, we'll see if we can get it close to that damn bullseye. Um, this way to hell low. And that may be way high right here at only 25 yards, because it's giving me a 100 yard zero. Probably give me this crap because it's Sunday and I should have done this yesterday. But what can you do? Okay, watch right here. You see my head dip down on the stock when I put my eye in alignment. There it is, right there. You see that? I tested it. Once I put my cheek all the way down on that damn on the cone, the top of the stock, where it's supposed to be, it was no longer in the, anywhere near alignment. It was looking at the back of the friggin' receiver, and here, I, yep, right there, I allowed myself to be surprised by that really fine trigger. <laughs> Four and a half pounds is what it breaks at, and I mean, it'll catch it. You cannot start reapplying pressure until you are ready, and it i tell you what, it was a, just a crappy weekend, a crappy day of shooting. I mean, it was fun to shoot the rifle when the rifle was working fine. And you see, flawless function, extracts, ejects, well, fires, extracts, ejects. And the, the ejection pattern is very consistent right there in like a five or six inch circle, all my brass, every damn bit of it. It's so smooth in action. It's pre-greased and ready to go from the factory. Now I did take the gas system apart and clean it as well as swab out the barrel before I did this, but I mean it it's so smooth operating when it's doing right, it just pumps all that brass right where it needs to go. Hey, I don't know which shot went where or when, but I got two in the bullseye and then I got one way left and one way high and another one really high. That one in the, the way high, that's probably the unexpected shot. And one I pulled could be either that one to the right top or the right left. But the fact I can, I got them in that bullseye, one of them damn near dead center. But you can see they're stringing pretty much right. Just a hair. So it's probably pretty damn close to center any damn way. I'm just pulling it. And see, that's the damn thing, ladies and gentlemen. You just, you've got to damn accept that uh, it's your screw-up, not the damn rifle.
Okay, somehow or another, I didn't hit record or something. I didn't get the shots in between these two targets. Um, and so I set up this dang target here. Uh, and you can see it stringing left. And the reason why is because I went ahead, decided, well, I'm going to move it half the distance. They recommend to move it one inch. And it moved it to the other side of the damn bulls. I bet you can see it's all over the place. It is bad form, period. Um, I did not have my left arm and elbow under the rifle. Did not have it high enough. Well, I didn't have my right arm uh, out off my elbow. And I'm wobbling all over the damn place. Again, my fault, not the rifle's damn fault. Damn, God. I've been shooting off the bipod with old Betsy, 16 pound ass for so long, and I had forgotten the basics of it. Even though I'd reread The Art of the Rifle, I was doing so while I did not have the rifle in the stock. So uh, my form and all is just absolutely screwed up, and I need to fix that, no doubt. Okay, I'm going to try those two rounds again. I don't know if the rifle may be loosened up, and if they don't fire okay. But it's the uh, LC, um, yeah, LC 21s that I had tried earlier at the very beginning and they didn't do any damn thing. And just for, oh, um, I moved the front sight back to where it was originally at because it moved at a freaking inch left. And they were stringing vertically uh, a half inch from the center to the left and it was a half inch center to the right. And I had split the difference, and I was thinking, okay, that'll do it. Nope. So we'll see if I can get it back center, but uh, after I shoot the bullseye, if I hit it with these two, um, I'm going to hit it with three of them if they fire. And if they don't, I'm going to eject those, hit it with three. That'll give me two, and i got a Sprite bottle, like a 24-ounce Sprite bottle down there, and a big gain. Um laundry detergent jug and both of them are filled with water so maybe we can see a pop we'll see Okay, so these first two uh, shots here I attempt are the Winchester M80 that was giving me so much crap, and they'll misfire. I mean, they, they uh, have slight dimpling of the primer, but I never did get them to fire. I think I'd already tried them one time. I mean, it, it ended up leaving a hell of a dent in both of them, but uh, to no avail, and I just simply ejected them. And once it fires, you'll see that darn... I think I fire a couple into the target, and then I hit the game big uh, laundry detergent jug that I had filled with water, not Tannerite. I don't do Tannerite. Tannerite's just a damn way of getting attention to you you don't want. Um, still, my farm is way off. I'm way the hell up on my elbows instead of having them my left elbow needs to be all the way as close as I can possibly manage under the rifle I need to be a little more left and my my heartbeat I can probably watch the damn front sight bob with my friggin heartbeat probably cause I had about 10 gallons of coffee before I went out there that day I waited till after church services let out I'm not gonna be disturbing the neighbors I'm not gonna be disturbing the church you know I try to be considerate of others and really honestly I think my backstop was piss poor I think that's all the ones in a target. Let's see if it's the gain jug next. Um, yep, there it went. All that water went to flying, and it knocked over the, the little Sprite bottle. But, yeah, my form is off. I really got to get to practice, and I, re I wish I had a qualified coach who could critique 
and make adjustments. And of course, I need a better sling. That sling is fine for transport and a quick loop up that helps stabilize it in, in a hurry. But as far as precision shooting, forget about it. It ain't going to happen. Um, there's the, bra well, there's the two duds right there. And uh, I guess I need to zoom in right here and show you guys. I mean, it really walked a snarl out of them. I wish I'd have done that initially, but of course I had the camera on a tripod and here's all the brass. It's pretty close to each other. And man, them babies are hot. And uh, there's one right under my, next to my foot, under my leg. I can't see. <laughs> well, let me tell you. It did not do that damn jug any damn good. I'm gonna have to assume that must be the entrance wound. Nope. I bet that's it right there. And the pressure bowed it back out. God. That's a hole right there. Not the one on the top left. Now here by the split. See my finger right there behind that. That's your entrance. It knocked that over. Look at that. That's beautiful. Knock my damn pasty off. I got one cutting the bullseye and one below the bullseye a little bit. The hell, look at there. They sent it up a lot better. I'll compare that last section to this. Pick up all our garbage. Got one more shot to make. round in that magazine. Oh, don't let me squish down. Chamber lock or boat lock back. I got close to it, but I missed the damn thing. The sight is a whole hell of a lot wider than that little bottle way back here. Excuses, excuses. No, oh, my right eye ain't near as good as it once was. Let me get some magnification. No. I did hit the damn thing. Look at there. Split that sucker right. I was aiming. 
Uh, wanted to aim at the R, it went straight through it. I could have swore the Sprite was facing forward. So damn it, I did it! Who's great? I'm great, that's who's great. Not really, but hey, give me a freaking break, man. It's hot out here. Anywho. This is Mac Daddy 1911A1 with the Shade Tree Survivalist out here trying out his brand spanking new Fulton Armor M14. And as this bottle will attest, which happens only 25 yards, no doubt. But as it will attest, most of the damn time I can hit what I aim at. <laughs>